Hi, I'm Dr. David Baskin, Director of the Peak Center and Vice Chairman of the Department of Neurosurgery here at Houston Methodist. And what you see here is what we call going green. Notice the room is a green color because we have special green lights and filters that enhance our capabilities to see this high definition and monitoring in an optimal way. There are many studies that show this is actually the optimal way for us to look at these monitors and bring out the precise crisp definition that we're looking for. But we're going to go to regular light now so you can see this in a more normal way. Uh, but it's important to understand this is yet another capability of the room that we have here. So what you see here is an operating room of the future. 21st century neurosurgery emphasizes three important concepts. Number one, visualization. We need to see things better than we ever had before with very high definition. We need to be able to navigate. We need to be able to go places in the brain with high accuracy through tiny corridors of safety, deviating even a little bit can cause a problem. And number three, we need to incorporate virtual reality. The reality of the computer taking imaging, reconstructing in three dimensions, and then fusing that virtual reality on the real reality of the patient so we can navigate with pinpoint accuracy and be right every time. This takes a lot of technology, and what you see in here is about a $1.6 million investment in this technology, a room that is one of the best in the entire world. So let's talk about what this room can do. Number one, it has a number of high resolution monitors which can process a number of different signals simultaneously. The brain of this system is right here, this panel, where I can take any number of inputs on one side and display them on any number of outputs on the other side. So let's go through some examples. Number one, there's a room camera. It's up on the wall over there. That camera gives a wide view of this room. The camera can be moved, it can be focused, it can be magnified, which means anyone, anywhere can watch what we're doing. We can watch in the room, but more importantly, for teaching purposes, somebody can watch at a distant site. Through the internet, people can watch how we begin an operation, how we set up an operation anywhere in the world. And by the way, any one of these inputs can be converted to an output through the internet. So we have a room camera. Over here, we have a light camera. So this camera is actually focused on a particular area where we're operating. And you can see right here on this screen, it's focused on a mannequin. And so you can actually see the surgical field, where we're working, again, with this precision, high def, high resolution accuracy. Then we have navigation systems. We have a number of systems that help us navigate through the brain. And right here, you can see a three-dimensional navigational system that I can put on any monitor in this room so that we can see it, our assistants can see it, our students can see it, and anywhere, anywhere in the world can see what we're doing as we're doing it real time. So this system enables us to broadcast information all over the room, all over the medical center, and all over the world. Why is it important? It's important because it helps us get the job done in, with precision that was never before possible. In addition to what I've just shown you, much of our surgery is now done with endoscopy, a slender rod with a camera on the end of it. And as you can see here, I have an endoscope, again, set up at this monitor. And if I want to look at what the endoscope's doing, it's very simple. I simply pull up the endoscope as an input, and I make it an output. And I can display that on any camera I want, anywhere. And so here again, you're looking through the endoscope, looking at the model. So as I'm operating, I'm using an endoscope. If I want to check, I can put a navigation screen up. I can put up an imaging screen. I can pull up x-rays and say, gee, I'm not quite sure who I am. Let me look at the x-ray. All without ever moving a muscle in terms of position. All this stuff is positioned in screens all around me so that I can work with, with total precision. So let me give you an example of that. So here's a patient with a large brain tumor, and you can see this brain tumor, and we can navigate in different areas in the brain and see where we are. And if I want to think about this in three dimensions, I just go to this three-dimensional model, and I can rotate this head in any position, in any direction, and get a better appreciation of the view of the tumor from where I'm coming. Not only can I do that, but I can put that on any number of nine different outputs in the room and display that through the internet in nine different output signals to anywhere in the world. 
So consider the inputs and the visualization tools that we have. We have the endoscope, one tenth of an inch, go up anywhere in the base of the brain, produces a high resolution output that we can see on any of these monitors. We have the microscope, about a $400,000 piece of equipment, which gives us three-dimensional vision anywhere that we aim it. We can take an area as small as about eight millimeters and blow it up and have it be our whole visual world. And we can display that through HDMI cables to any of these monitors, again, in high resolution. We have an in-room camera. We have a light camera. We have three-dimensional virtual reality, which can be displayed in any number of ways. And all these things are constantly flowing at our fingertips in this room so that we can achieve a perfect outcome in surgery.